So mm -hmm. I was at Amazon Echo with everything at my house uh, back in the day. And I had a ring camera uh, mm -hmm. as my doorbell. Um, and, and at some point I just decided, I don't know if I want everything captured and stored somewhere. And I don't know where it is. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying there's anything malicious that's happened. I'm just saying I didn't know. And therefore I didn't want to keep going down that route. That's so I, I, I went away from Amazon altogether. Mm -hmm. Again, didn't have a bad experience. I can't, I'm not saying anything bad versus anything else. I went to Apple hundred percent for mm -hmm. this new house. There's a lot, there's a, there's basically a few reasons for that. The first is I live in the Apple ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I have an iPhone, I have an iPad, I have a Mac. I started using uh, Apple products back in 1984 with my Apple IIe. I'm an Apple guy. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, so it made sense. I also, I prefer the Apple TV device to a Roku or to something else. It is good. It is, and I'll tell you what, those speakers on those little uh, HomePod minis mm -hmm. are really good, and I'm buying one of those new uh, HomePods. Um, they're a little bit pricey. Um, Two seventy nine, I think, is the price right now. Um, so I'm not dying to get it until I'm really in the house. But I've heard those things are amazing in terms of a speaker. The big ones are. Yeah. But even the so there's not much of a change between the two, uh, and so you may be able to get a deal on the first gen one. Oh, okay. But, um, I but heard the bass is a little bit better. I think. If um, there's a couple other little things. If you're into getting the best, then the the two is definitely the way to go. And we use it for a TV most of the time. You know, uh, you know, like we we use we use Apple HomePod Minis for our TV uh, speakers. So you put you pair them in stereo and mm -hmm. then listen to them through. And Bluetooth. we we lose them. We uh, we we have them behind us. And um, there's no issues with the uh, sound syncing with the image. Uh, no, we have no we have no problems with syncing. Every now and then, one of them might go out, and then we just and it's mm -hmm. because of the uh, it was because of the mesh network. One would go on to the other one mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. But no, we've we've because the Apple TV easily uh, pairs with. Uh, yeah. HomePod minis. Mm -hmm. And we got this incredible surround sound in our house. Um, mm -hmm. And we needed that in the room we were in where just the TV coming to us, we always we seemed to we're losing a little bit of the voice. Yeah. You know, that sometimes happened. So having those extra speakers um, were really cool. And so we'll, we'll want to do that again. Yeah. Um, but again, going back to uh, ch choosing uh, Apple, the other is I kind of like most of my stuff or feeling like it's more secure. Mm -hmm. So if I have an Apple HomePod device, I don't feel like it's listening to me all the time and selling my information. I'm not saying the other ones are, um, but well, you- everybody proclaims that they do not sell data procured from home automation. That's right. Or home AIs. That's why I say I, I'm only making that assumption. Yeah, it, yeah. it makes me feel better being mm -hmm. in the Apple ecosystem versus the Amazon or the Google one. I, I, I get that. So, so it was a choice. Now, I could have- Gone back. There's nothing wrong with the others, you know. I felt I interacted more with Amazon uh, Alexa mm -hmm. than um, or my Echoes than I do with my HomePods. Yeah, I don't say "Hey, S I R I" very much in my house. Yeah, so it's difficult. AIs make it difficult to talk to, and so yes. you lean on them less. You do. Where so Alexa and Google are definitely the best. They are. At, They're better at that kind of recognition. And I hope we're not setting people's stuff off by coming close to saying the keywords. Oh, who cares? Uh, but so another limitation, you know, talking to, talking about uh, time spent with your device, giving it commands like Alexa and Google can both take multiple commands at once. So I can mm -hmm. tell it to turn off this light, turn on that light, turn off the light in the room because it's contextually aware of where it's at. Um, and uh, Siri cannot do that. So you've got to go through and do commands. You've got to do Siri serially. Yes. And, and so I was about ready to say, you can create a shortcut that mm -hmm. does that. Yeah. Um, or it can be within a specific app. Um, yeah, but obviously. all of them have that type of stuff. That's like, true. They've all got some sort of routines. Or yeah, and I would say the ability to talk um, to devices or applications um, was a better experience with Amazon than it has been so far with Apple. Mm. It has. Um, so, um, I, now again, what did I, what did I buy to have go to the Apple ecosystem? Yeah. What did you get to, to, I, I didn't buy anything. If you think about it, I just bought Apple compatible, uh, devices, mm -hmm. you know, because, um, what I, and, and I'm not saying I, I, and I think I'm doing this wrong. I think I need to go buy a hub because I, I, I feel like, or I have to use that iPad dedicated to that. And, and that's what. If you go to Apple's website, um, well, we haven't talked about a hub yet. Let's. What is it like? What do you mean by hub? 
So, um, well, specifically when I'm saying hub, I'm talking 